Action. Hello and welcome to another unboxing slash unbagging. So uh, today, Matthew and I were at Bull Moose in the town, the huge big town of Waterville, Maine. And I bought a grab bag of comics for the low, low price of $5. Actually, $4.97 plus tax. Uh, so, let's see what I got. Because, I don't know. <laughs> and they are bagging and boarded. I was worried for a minute. I weren't sure if they were going to bag and board them. Because it is a grab bag after all. But... A DC Magazine, uh, Frankenstein, Agent of Shade. Never read any of those. This is apparently issue 16. I might check it out. I'll, well, I probably will end up reading it eventually. But if anybody out there has read it, let us know how it is. Should I start at 16 or should I try to get the other 15 first? Doesn't he kind of look like Savage Dragon? A little bit. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they just recycled it. Yeah. Uh, Fatal. I've heard about this comic, but I've never actually read it. I do like the look of the uh, this thing. Uh, shit. Cover. Uh, not just because it's a lady. That's one of the reasons. And it's weird because we get Image Comics to thing. I don't know how I to review. I don't even know how I missed it, but I did because I'm stupid. But this is number 20. Uh, I like the looks of it, so I'll probably check that one out. And when I say probably, I mean I will eventually read all these. Um, Some sooner than later. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, number 37. Uh, it looks... The cover looks okay. It says Chapter 9, Battle of the Atom. I haven't read any of these. I'm not a huge X-Men fan. I like the cartoons. Well, kind of. I wasn't really a big cartoon fan. Doesn't that kind of look like Robin? It does. Even with the yellow spikes Weird. sticking out. It's... Is that supposed to be Beast? Did you read any of the Battle of the Atom? I have not seen any of these. Oh, well, you saw it. I know. Six Gun, issue... Issue number um, 33. I think I may have read this. From time to time, we get some Oni Press uh, comics to review, and I have read some of the, the Six Gun. You can ask Matt. I told him he should check it out today when we were at Bull Moose. He did, he did. Uh, so, yeah, I'll definitely be reading this one. And I like the cover, so bonus. Green Arrow, uh, number 28. I haven't really read any of these. You haven't read much of the New 52, have you? No. Uh, I have read the season two and a half. Well, about half of season two and a half of Green Arrow from uh, the TV show. Or oh, Arrow, not Green Arrow. It's Arrow, season two See, and a half. Yeah, a little side note. I, well, we'll talk about that some other time. Uh. The TV show. <laughs> I don't want to give any spoilers away in case anybody hasn't seen it yet. Uh, this is subtitled, though, The Outsider's War, Book 3, The Final Lesson. So, I'll definitely check this out. I, Vampire, number 18. Uh, I haven't really checked this out. I've been meaning to. I didn't even know that was a New 52 comic. Really? I did. I, I've seen it quite a few times at Bull Moose. I've never actually bought it. And I think this is the issue I was checking out in one of the back issue bins. I like the cover. That's okay. It's a red stripe. I mean, you can't go with a person. Yeah, we can't go wrong. It's vampires. Well, yes, you can. Look at Twilight. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those aren't vampires. Let's not get into that debate. <laughs> look, at, look at True Blood. No, I'm just kidding. I liked it. It was okay. I, I didn't watch the last season. I got a little hokey towards the last two seasons. I watched... How many seasons were there, like... There was five, I think, seasons. 
I watched the next to last season anyway, whatever number that was, and at the end, you have like Bill Eric, becoming Eric yeah. naked. Did you say Bella? Bill becoming. Oh, yeah. He was like becoming like some kind of like. Oh no, that was and shit. that was like the season before that. Yeah, it's just all stupid. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, this one's Talon, number fourteen. Uh, the only reason I know Talon is from the newest uh, DC animation, uh, Batman vs. Robin. So, I may or may not check this out. I have still haven't watched that yet. I gotta watch it. I thought you said you watched it. I've I'm got it, I just haven't watched it. Uh, Max Brooks, uh, The Extinction Parade. Looks like another vampire book. Issue number one from Avatar Press. Uh, apparently the guy that wrote World War Z. The uh, book, not the movie. Yeah. <laughs> did this. I'll most likely check this out. I, I like the looks of the cover. And it's an issue one, so if I like it, I can... So you have issue one. Look for others. Oh, save that one for last. Well, I am, because that is the last one. Anyway, The X-Files, season 10. Love The X-Files. I have... I love Gillian Anderson. I want that right there as a poster on my wall. I have never watched any of The X-Files. You're an idiot. I, How can you call yourself a geek you've never watched X-Files? That's like saying you've never seen Doctor Who. What? What's Doctor Who? <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Uh, or Star Wars. <laughs> I, I've never watched... Uh, the X-Files. I've been meaning to check it out, just haven't. This is season 10, number 9, so I'll probably check you this like out. You like David Duchovny, so I'm surprised you never watched it. I know, Californication was fucking awesome. Uh, so Completely he- different fucking <laughs> genres, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's no titties in X-Files. <laughs> well, maybe if there was, I would have checked it out sooner. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the X-Files, you hear fucking all the yeah. time. <laughs> You got like two aliens just fucking. <laughs> David Drew Covenant comes in and is like smoking a cigarette. Can I join? You know? <laughs> that would make me watch X Files sooner. He starts narrating it like he did in Red Shoe Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll check this out because there's no better place to start than near the end of uh, well season ten. How many seasons were there on the TV show? Five. Wasn't there? Uh, no, it was, it was more than that, yeah. Or seven or eight. There was a bunch of them. They're all on Netflix right now. I'll, I don't have Netflix, but I'll eventually check them out. Uh, I guess if I like this comic, I might check it out sooner. Uh, but yeah, this picture is pretty cool. I like Jalen Anderson. She's in... Uh, Hannib- she Hannibal. was in Hannibal. She still is. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. See, I've only watched the first She's season. got a show on uh, Netflix, too, called, I think, The, the Falling. Oh, yeah. I've only watched the first season of Hannibal still. She plays a detective going after a serial killer. Uh, yeah. Even at this age, she she just she's like one of those actresses that just kept getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> no, we're just getting older and older, so we like the older ladies. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Not old. <laughs> all right, and this is the comic. I seen this and I was like, ah, oh, I'm definitely gonna read this one. The Powerpuff Girls, number four. Four. Uh, actually, I probably won't. Yes, you will. I know. Uh, Powerpuff Girls are yeah, awesome. Shut up. It's Powerpuff <laughs> Girls. Uh, probably my favorite looking, just looking at the cover, would have to be... That Fatal one. Fatal. It looks like an old like movie poster. It does. I was wondering why I liked it so much. And then you can see the flames and the sunglasses. Mm-hmm. Ooh, side note. I was at work yesterday, and they had the reading glasses, you know, the ones you can buy for a buck at a dollar store. They look just like that. They did, and I was wearing them. Oh. Oh, Now you got to get a picture of, you're going to need to take a selfie of you in those glasses. They were broken, so they might be in the trash by now. But Fatal, uh, the six gun, uh, I'm not so excited, my asshole's quivering, but, you know. But all in all, for like five bucks, I mean for ten bucks, wait, you, how much did you pay for these? You paid five bucks, right, for ten comics? Yeah. So, I mean, you only paid 50 cents a piece for these. All yeah, in all, you got a pretty go good... they go for two bucks at Bulma's a piece, usually. So, I mean, all in all, you got a pretty good deal. Yeah, but 
the three probably I'm looking forward to most, just because I like the covers, are Fatal, The X-Files, and The Extinction Parade. And another good thing about the grab bag is it gives you a chance to read comics you normally probably wouldn't even have checked out. That's right. I'm just glad oops, that, stuck, that I didn't get uh, the two comics that I had purchased. That would have pissed me off. Yeah, let's see what two comics you did purchase. But these were uh, newer ones. So. The two I did get was Wonder Woman. This is a... The 300 poster. A couple of weeks ago, uh, they were doing... DC was doing the movie poster covers and I got Wonder Woman uh, I like the looks of it yeah from the movie 300 and this is uh, Supergirl from Wizard of Oz doesn't it look hey, awesome bring it a little closer doesn't it look awesome yeah, I love that yeah, I've never read Supergirl but I have seen her on Smallville and <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna check out the TV show that uh Melissa Benoist is in. A lot of people are uh, bitching about the whole Jimmy Olsen being black thing. See, the dude that plays Jimmy Olsen in the thing, I, I think he's an okay actor because I watched uh, Necessary Roughness on USA and he was the black guy on there. A uh, football player or some shit like that. So he's okay. Yeah, Supergirl though. Some people don't like it because of the way it's. I don't know. But well, we'll, we'll we'll talk about TV shows in another episode. Perhaps, <laughs> unless we don't. You know how it is. Anyway, that, that way it'll give us more content to throw up. <laughs> uh, throw up as in put on the web, not throw up as in. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So that was the grab bag, and what I got that wasn't in the grab bag. So. You probably didn't enjoy it, however, oh well. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Hey, let us know if you've read any of those comics and which ones I should definitely check out sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm interested in opinions. And uh, let us know if there's any you'd like to see us review, if you want you know, our opinion on it because you were interested and haven't went ahead and read them yet. Something like that. Exactly. So... That way you can make Steve read the ones he doesn't want to read. Yeah, like Powerpuff Girls. Oh, I want everybody to say, <laughs> we need a review of Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, uh, if you made it this far. See you later. Bye-bye.